NeoVim, much like regular Vim, is all about maximizing productivity with your keyboard. Whether you're triggering a plugin feature, invoking a function you've written, or replaying a simple sequence of keystrokes, you can all map it to a keyboard shortcut of your choosing. I have a file tree plugin installed over here. I can trigger it by invoking colon and vim tree toggle. Pretty cool, but too much typing. Let's map that to a hotkey instead. I'm used to JetBrains IDEs, so I want to assign it to Alt 1. We can do this with vim.keymap.set. First I'll need to tell the set function which mode the hotkey should apply to. In my case I'll choose N for normal mode. You can even choose multiple if you need to. For more information about this, you can always check the built-in documentation for keymap.set. The second parameter is the keystroke. There are a few special key notations that you'll want to know about. CX stands for Control plus X. MX, where the M refers to the meta key, is Alt plus X. And as X is, you probably guessed it, Shift plus X. As the final parameter, I'll pass a string containing what I would normally type if I ran the command manually. And that does include the Enter key I pressed, so I'm gonna put CR at the end, which stands for carriage return. Let's reload the config and test the hotkey. Open, close. Good. If you ever want to check what a hotkey does, you can use the map command. This is a command that regular Vim users will also recognize. A key map can also be used to call a function. Let's write one, and then map it to Control A followed by B. By the way, pro tip, the key notation for Control Alt and Shift combinations is case insensitive. So you can lowercase it if you want to. Uppercase just happens to be my personal preference. One more reload, and we're in business. So that's keyboard shortcuts in a nutshell. Let me know what you want me to explore next, and subscribe if you want to see more of these tutorials. From me to you, it's Colin Q.